Welcome to EduTube, your ultimate study companion for virtual university. In this video, we're here to prepare you for your CS001 final term exam, focusing on modules 4 to 6. We'll be solving 33 MCQs, each followed by detailed explanations, so you'll know exactly why the correct answer is right. These questions are based entirely on your handouts and the official paper pattern to help you ace your exam. So grab your notebooks, follow along, and get ready to test your knowledge. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video to help others prepare for their exams too. Let's dive in. CS001 Final Term Mock Exam MCQs, one mark each, question 1. What does the sum function in Excel do? A adds numbers B, subtracts numbers C, multiplies numbers D, divides numbers answer, A adds numbers. Explanation. The sum function allows you to add a range of numbers in Excel. For example, equals sum, A1, A5, totals all the numbers in cells A1 to A5. Question 2. Which formula calculates the average of cells A1 to A5? A equals average, A1, A5, B equals sum, A1, A5, 5C equals max, A1, A5, D equals AVG, A1, A5, answer, A equals average, A1, a5. Explanation. The average function is specifically designed to calculate the mean value of the selected range. Question 3. In PowerPoint, what is the purpose of the animations tab? A. Adding new slides. B. Applying movement effects to text or objects. C. Editing slide layouts. D. Changing fonts. Answer. B. Applying movement effects to text or objects. Explanation. The animations tab helps you add effects like fade, zoom, or fly in to make presentations more engaging. All right, how are you feeling so far? Don't worry if it's tricky, let's keep going and tackle the next set together. Question 4. What does a pie chart represent? A data trends over time b. Proportions of a whole c. Relationships between variables d. Frequencies of data answer. b. Proportions of a whole. Explanation. Pie charts are best for visualizing data as parts of a whole. For example, you can show how expenses contribute to your total budget. Question 5. What is the default file extension for Excel workbooks? A. Doc B. PPTXC. XLSXD. XLS answer. C. XLSX. Explanation. Modern Excel files are saved in the XLSX format while older versions use XLS. Question 6. Which key starts a slideshow in PowerPoint? A F1 B, F5 C, Control plus B D, F6 answer, B F5. Explanation. Pressing F5 in PowerPoint starts the slideshow from the first slide. Question 7. What does equals max, A1, A5, do in Excel? A finds the highest value B. Finds the lowest value C. Adds all the values D. Calculates the average value answer. A finds the highest value. Explanation. The max function identifies the largest number in the specified range. Question 8. Which tab in Excel contains the sort and filter options? A data B. Insert C. Review D. Home answer. A data. Explanation. The data tab in Excel provides tools for organizing, sorting, and filtering data. Question 9. What is the purpose of cloud storage? A store files locally B. Share and access files online from anywhere C. Delete files automatically after 30 days D. Protect files from viruses answer. B. Share and access files online from anywhere. Explanation. Cloud storage platforms like Google Drive and OneDrive let you store, access, and share files over the internet. Question 10. What does the term, phishing email, refer to? A. Promotional emails B. Fake emails designed to steal information C. Spam emails with discounts D. Professional emails from verified companies answer. B. Fake emails designed to steal information. Explanation. Phishing emails trick users into providing sensitive information by pretending to be from legitimate sources. Alright, how are you feeling so far? Don't worry if it's tricky, let's keep going and tackle the next set together. Question 11. In Excel, what does the average function calculate? A total values in a range B. Median value C. Mean value D. Smallest value answer. C. Mean value. Explanation. Average calculates the mean of the values in the selected range, which is the sum divided by the count. Question 12. What is a strong password? A. 
ABC 123B, P at SSW 0RD 123, C 111111D, User Password Answer, BP at SSW 0RD 123. Explanation A strong password includes a combination of uppercase letters, lowercase letters, numbers, and special characters. Question 13 Which type of chart is ideal for showing trends over time? A pie chart B. Line chart C, bar chart D, scatter plot answer, V line chart. Explanation. Line charts are used to visualize data trends over time, such as sales growth across months. Question 14. What does equals min, A1, A5, do in Excel? A finds the maximum value B, finds the minimum value C, calculates the average D, subtracts the smallest from the largest value answer, B finds the minimum value. Explanation. The min function identifies the smallest value in a specified range, such as equals min, a1, a5. Question 15. What is the main difference between transitions and animations in PowerPoint? A transitions are for objects, animations are for slides. B transitions are between slides, animations are within slides. C transitions are for text, animations are for images. D transitions and animations are the same. Answer. B transitions are between slides, animations are within slides. Explanation. Transitions are effects that occur when moving from one slide to the next, while animations affect elements within a slide. Alright, how are you feeling so far? Don't worry if it's tricky, let's keep going and tackle the next set together. Question 16. Which chart is best for showing parts of a whole in Excel? A line chart B, bar chart C, pie chart D, scatter plot answer, C pie chart. Explanation. Pie charts are ideal for representing proportions or percentages of a whole, such as expense categories in a budget. Question 17. What does the F7 key do in PowerPoint? A starts the slideshow B. Checks spelling C. Adds a new slide D. Opens the print menu answer. B checks spelling. Explanation. In PowerPoint, pressing F7 opens the spelling and grammar checker for your presentation. Question 18. What is the purpose of the data tab in Excel? A. Inserting charts and images B. Sorting and filtering data C. Formatting cells D. Adding formulas answer. B. Sorting and filtering data. Explanation. The data tab contains tools for organizing your dataset, such as sorting alphabetically or filtering specific rows. Question 19. Which tool is used to add movement to objects in PowerPoint? A. Transitions B. Animations C. Layouts D. Insert tab answer. B. Animations. Explanation. The animations tool allows you to apply effects to text or objects, like fade or fly in. Question 20. Which of the following is an example of cloud storage? A. Excel B. Gmail C. Google Drive D. PowerPoint Answer. C. Google Drive. Explanation. Cloud storage services like Google Drive allow you to store, share, and access files online. Question 21. What is the default alignment for numbers in Excel cells? A. Center aligned B. Left aligned C, right aligned D, justified answer, C right aligned. Explanation. In Excel, numbers are automatically aligned to the right of a cell, while text is aligned to the left. Question 22. Which of the following can be added to a PowerPoint slide? A tables B, video C, audio files D, all of the above answer, D all of the above. Explanation. PowerPoint allows you to insert tables, videos, audio, and many other elements to enhance your presentation. All right, how are you feeling so far? Don't worry if it's tricky, let's keep going and tackle the next set together. Question 23. What does a filter do in Excel? A. Deletes unwanted data B. Hides rows that don't meet specific criteria C. Changes the font style of cells D. Highlights important data answer. B. Hides rows that don't meet specific criteria. Explanation. Filters let you view only the rows that meet certain conditions, making it easier to analyze data. Question 24. Which type of password is considered weak? A. ABC 123B. P at SSW 0RD 123. C. My secure key. 2024D. 1Q at ZX dollar W3 answer. A. ABC 123. Explanation. A weak password is short and lacks complexity, making it easy to guess or crack. Question 25. Which feature in PowerPoint adds effects when switching between slides? A. Animations B. 
Transitions C. Slide layouts D. Slide design answer. B. Transitions. Explanation. Transitions provide visual effects when moving from one slide to another, such as wipe or fade. Question 26. What is the use of the count function in Excel? It counts the number of numeric values in a range B. Adds all the numbers in a range C. Finds the maximum value in a range D. Counts all the blank cells in a range answer. It counts the number of numeric values in a range. Explanation. The count function is used to count only the numeric entries in the specified range of cells. Question 27. Which of these is an internet browser? A. Microsoft Excel B. Mozilla Firefox C. Microsoft PowerPoint D. Adobe Photoshop Answer. B. Mozilla Firefox. Explanation. Firefox is an internet browser used to access and navigate websites on the internet. Question 28. Which tool in Excel is used to visually summarize data? A. Pivot Tables B. Animations C. Filters D. Comments Answer. A. Pivot Tables. Explanation. Pivot Tables allow you to organize, summarize, and analyze large amounts of data in a dynamic way. Question 29. What is the use of the Insert tab in PowerPoint? A. Add charts, pictures, and videos B. Format text C. Add animations D. Change slide transitions answer. A. Add charts, pictures, and videos. Explanation. The Insert tab is used to add multimedia elements to enhance your PowerPoint slides. Question 30. Which of the following is an example of a phishing email? A. An email from your university account B. An email from your bank asking for login credentials C. A newsletter subscription email D. A thank you email from a client answer. B. An email from your bank asking for login credentials. Explanation. Phishing emails are deceptive messages designed to steal sensitive information, often disguised as legitimate communication. All right, how are you feeling so far? Don't worry if it's tricky, let's keep going and tackle the next set together. Question 31. What is the use of transitions in PowerPoint? A. To format text B. To add movement between slides C. To delete slides D. To rearrange slides answer. B. To add movement between slides. Explanation. Transitions create effects between slides, making the presentation visually engaging during a slideshow. Question 32. Which Excel feature is used to identify trends in data? A. Pivot Charts B. Line Chart C. Filters D. Bar Chart Answer. B. Line Chart. Explanation. Line charts are ideal for showing trends in data over time, such as monthly sales growth. We're almost at the end. Let's finish strong and lock in that knowledge with these final few questions. Question 33. What is the purpose of the Save Browsing feature in web browsers? A. To delete cookies B. To protect against malware and phishing attacks C. To open multiple tabs D. To save login credentials answer. B. To protect against malware and phishing attacks. Explanation. Safe browsing warns users about dangerous sites and protects them from harmful attacks online. Subjective section. Short and long questions. Short questions. Three marks each. Question 1. Explain the steps to create a pie chart in Excel. Answer. Highlight the data range, e.g., A1 to B5. Go to Insert Right Pointing Arrow Chart. Select the Pie Chart option. Format the chart by adding a title and labels. Question 2. Differentiate between animations and transitions in PowerPoint. Answer. Animations. Effects applied to text or objects within a slide, e.g., fade, zoom. Transitions. Effects that occur between slides during a slideshow, e.g., wipe, push. Question 3. What is the purpose of the average function in Excel? Answer. The average function calculates the mean value of a range of numbers by summing them up and dividing by the total count of numbers. Question 4. Write down the steps to send an email with an attachment. Answer. Open your email application, e.g., Gmail. Click Compose. Enter the recipient's email address, subject, and message. Click the paperclip icon to attach a file. Click Send. Question 5. List three ways to identify phishing emails. Answer. Check for unusual sender addresses or domains. Avoid clicking on suspicious links or attachments. Look for grammatical errors and urgent requests for personal information. Question 6. What are the advantages of using cloud storage? Answer. Access files from anywhere using the internet. Share files easily by generating a link. Backup files to avoid data loss in case of hardware failure. Long questions. 5 marks each. Question 1. 
Discuss how to create and format a table in Excel. Answer. Highlight the range of cells you want to include in the table. Go to Insert Right Pointing Arrow Table. Add headers to describe each column. Use the Design tab to apply styles and colors. Sort and filter data as needed. Question 2. Explain how to apply animations to a PowerPoint slide. Answer. Select the object, text, image, or shape on the slide. Go to the Animations tab. Choose an animation effect, like Fly In or Zoom. Use the Animation pane to adjust the order and duration. Preview the slide to see the effect. Question 3. Describe phishing emails and how to avoid them. Answer. Phishing emails are fake messages designed to steal personal or financial information by pretending to be from legitimate organizations. How to avoid them. Verify the sender's email address. Avoid clicking on links or downloading attachments from unknown sources. Use antivirus software to scan emails. Question 4. Explain how to run and customize a slideshow in PowerPoint. Answer. Press F5 to start the slideshow from the first slide. Use the arrow keys to navigate between slides. Add custom transitions by going to the Transitions tab. Use the Slideshow tab to rehearse timings or record the presentation. End the slideshow by pressing ESC. Fantastic work today, everyone! You've made it through some tough questions, and I'm confident you're better prepared for the upcoming exams. Remember, the key to mastering these concepts is consistent practice and a deep understanding of the material. Keep reviewing and don't hesitate to revisit any questions that challenge you. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to EduTube to stay updated with more content like this. Drop a comment if you have any questions or want further clarification, I'm always here to help. Until next time, keep learning, stay focused, and good luck with your studies.